morning. Good morning from Melbourne, Australia. Good evening to friends in North America. Um, I know this is a big evening in the U.S. with the first presidential debate coming up. Um, I promise if you join me for this, we will be done in just under an hour and we will be able to go watch the debate because I plan on watching it from here. Let me move this out of the way. Um, I have changed my um, filming setup in my craft room and I hope it's going to work better for me and ultimately for you guys too. Please let me know if you're having difficulty seeing anything or hearing anything. It really shouldn't be a change that you notice on your end, um, but for me, I'm hoping it'll be a big difference. Anyhow, um, in the big sale a week ago, the stamp sale, I bought two stamp sets that have been on my list but I hadn't purchased yet. One of them is Way to Goat and one of them is this Happiest of Birthdays um, and I've got some ideas for using them. I received them yesterday and um, I couldn't wait to break into the Way to Goat so I uh, last night I made up um, this one, I'm just checking my feed here to see how it's coming across. Yes, I'm going to watch the debate too, Gladys. There we go. Um, yeah, so I used, um, I made some masks. The very first thing I stamped with this set actually was masks on my full sticky post-its and um, cut them out. Um, and again, you cut inside that outline um, so that when you stamp you don't get any blank shadows and I stacked them up here like this. I've seen some other people do that on Pinterest um, and then this morning I figured out how to how I wanted to mount it up and I used a bit of this um, wood grain photo paper from um, In Good Taste and stamped out the sentiment happy birthday you old goat on a bit of whisper white and cut it out and then put some of this braided trim behind it. Let's see how it is to hold it up here. Um, yeah, if we need to get closer in on when I'm working on stuff, I can lower it down now, I think, without it being a problem. So I'm going to do another card and it's also going to be stacked, but I'm not going to bother masking it. Um, because of the ones I'm going to use. So I have a small piece of Whisper White and my memento. I'm going to start with this guy again, who this looks so nonplussed to have somebody on his back. But uh, there we go. We're just going to stamp that on there. And then we're going to put the dancing goat. Good enough. She's quite good. Hi, Jackie, or Jack and Nikki. Yeah, I, I'm a sucker for the cute animals. But they, they have to be kind of sophisticated cute. If they look like some fourth grader sketched them out, I, I'm not so into those. But. Anyhow, and I'm going to do what? I'm going to put a little ground there with some crumb cake. So they don't appear to just be floating. There we go. And then I'm going to do a little color again. I'm just, this one I used a lot of colors. Um, this one was gray granite, this one's smoky slate, this one's crumb cake, and then they have petal pink and so saffron for face and horns. This one I'm just going to stick with the smoky slate, I believe. Um, and face may get to stay. Wait, we'll see. 
how exactly I do it here. I don't know, I think this debate today could be something kind of painful to watch, but we'll see. It's just sickening what's going on with that president of ours. I'm right, aren't I, that the debate doesn't start for another hour, or is it on now? The top goat does not have a mask on this one. I used a mask on these. I masked this one and this one, but no mask on that top one, right? Even though I've cut one out, I just went ahead and made one in case I ever want to mask it. I'm gonna go back in and put in some detail with the, this is the light smoky slate. This is the dark, I'm gonna go in and add some is it texture, highlight, low light, I don't know what you call it. Oh, a virus mask. Uh, no. No masks, at least not on purpose. I suppose I could draw one in. Pull in my light basic black here to just darken up the hose just a bit more, just for fun. And then I'm probably going to call it quits. Well, as predicted on Sunday, we did get a little more loosening of our. restrictions here very slightly 
uh, so slight that I'm not even sure I can remember. Oh, I know. We're not limited to one person leaving for shopping. We can go together now. Um, I'm going to do the faces, too, because I like that effect. This is um, Petal Pink. Uh, what else? No more curfew at all, which is whatever, because there's still no place you can go. Um, you have to stay within your five kilometers and, you know, only essential stuff. So there's no place to go really at night anyway, um, except if you want to do your grocery shopping. Now the stores can stay open late. Um, I'm just gonna add a little darker, the petal pink dark to the eyelids. I think that is also kind of an effective thing. There, okay. So that one's done. And I've gone ahead, I actually am prepared today, woohoo. And I'm gonna mount that up. black but the good news is that we are well on pace to meet the next requirement for getting out from under restrictions and they're going to go by numbers and not necessarily by dates so they instead of the October 29th for our next Date, they're actually saying it's probably going to be October 19th if people keep doing the right things so that's 10 days early and that's a good thing this is some of the um, designer series paper pack um, they have them for all the color families this one is for the 2020 2022 in colors this is just Jade and I like this kind of subtle den denim e texture Stick that on the basic black card base. It's got a very narrow margin. You can do whatever you want. Uh oh, looks like maybe my video went out. Just looking to see if I need to. My husband just went. On Zoom. You said I'm still on? Good. Okay, I'm going to keep going even though I can't actually see it at the moment. I'm going to see if I can get it up over here on my monitor. One more minute. I've got it back. Are we still on? Can you see me? Good. Yeah, I'm surprised that's the first time that's happened to us here. Um, okay. There we go. Hopefully that stays working now. Okay, so I'm going to put that there, but before I stick that down, I'm going to work on some sentiment stuff. I'm just grabbing a piece of scrap over here. And I'm going to use this happy birthday 
the old goat. I'm going to stamp it twice in case I need it. Because I'm going to do some fussy cutting. And this is not my strongest suit. So. I'm going to be cutting this whole thing down. And I'm just going to do it by hand, which is should be very fun here. Like I said, this is not my strongest suit. That is not birthday. This is birthday. This is not a straight birthday. That may be okay. Let's see how it looks. The old goat. I don't know. Okay. So, I'm going to glue those onto some basic black, and we'll do some cutting of those too. Oh my goodness, how much of a mess can I make? So, um, I hope you've been seeing on my blog that I'm doing a World Card Making Day event this Saturday morning, Australia time. That'll be Friday evening um, in the U.S same time as this Facebook Live. Um, it's over on Zoom, so you can get all the details on my blog. I'm going to be crafting with the um, Box of Sunshine Paper Pumpkin Kit, which I know is now months old in the U.S., but it is relatively new still here. And um, key things are you can play along if you still have one of those sets. You can play along with that. You can play along with anything else that you want. Um, we are going to then be prepping the cards to actually send out. So have an idea who you want to send cards to. And um, I will have cards. The cards that I make, you guys can nominate somebody anywhere in the world. And I will send it on your behalf. To the person and if you're in Australia I will have um, 
stamp sets and kits from that box of sunshine to give away. And I'm going to dig through and find some other Stampin' Up! swag to give away. So, uh, hopefully, y'all join me. Gosh, let's see the y'all. I didn't even talk like that when I lived in the States. Um, and we'll have some fun. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't, I can send people cards out of the country. I can't really send you any swag. That's okay. Oh my. I know it's supposed to be rustic, but. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I will glue this one down. I don't know why I was reluctant to before, but that's okay. Get that kind of centered up there. of dimensional on there. These mini dimensionals are great. Let's see, are they still too big for some of this? I think it'll work on the happy. And birthday. And then they've got really nice wide edges. Which means it's easy to cut them down. And I could use the strips, but they are thicker than the regular dimensionals. So I like this better. Go. I think we're going to do like so. Happy birthday. Ooh, 
is so little. The old goat. Okay, so there's that one. What do you think? Two different versions. Well, two different cards anyway. There we go. And now I'm gonna play a little bit, totally change packs. This happiest of birthdays. And sometimes just having a big old, big old sentiment is a nice thing. And um, I thought I would play a little bit. I thought I had pulled some stuff out, there we go. Um, pulled out my flowers for every season paper and the um, note cards. Because one of the reasons I got this is that it'd be, I thought it'd be fun to be able to make some pretty, pretty cards, but kind of quick and easy. So, um, this is already designed to be used with six, this is six and a quarter inches so the six by six paper is easy and you just cut it off at four and you've got a quick and easy panel ready to go so this one is the bumblebee Card base. No reason more cards and envelopes. And that will go on there. And I think I want to use this one. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. It's going to be nice and big on there. And that's about as far as I've gotten. So I'm trying to figure out. Well, the quickest and easiest is to pick a color on a piece of white, cut it out, boom, it's on. But I think we can afford to go a little fancier. little bit of marker coloring. So the colors on this paper are the in colors, Magenta, Madness, Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, Just Jade, and then Poppy Parade for the pop of, um, pop of color. So I'm going to do some of each color, I think. We'll see how this goes. And it may just be too much of a hot mess with everything on there, but we'll see. Pushing a little bit on there. do this all the time and then kind of moved away from it be fun to do this in an ombre as well or a baby white technique with making your um, making a multicolor stamp pad out of some baby wipes 
did it over as well. I didn't mean to. Stamp that on. And I'm huffing on it as you can hear there to hopefully re wet that ink. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, and then I did figure out a couple of dies that will work to cut it out. That's the largest of the Stitch So Sweetly scallop rectangles. Uh, stitched nested labels will also work. Not that one, I think the bigger one is better. Of course, there are stitch rectangles. I'm going to go with this one. Mm, nah, I'm going to go with this one. And I do have the new magnetic plate for the stamp and cut and emboss, or as Kylie's calling it now, the skim. work a treat. I've been seeing some reports from people that it's not self-healing the way they think it should be and it's starting to warp and blah blah blah. Um, I've, I've only cut maybe half a dozen things on mine so far so I'm not noticing too many problems. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. And I might... leave it like that because the whole idea was to make it kind of quick and simple right okay there's that I think we will put that on dimensionals simple it is the more important it is that things are straight I think there we go yeah if I wanted to I could add some of the um, I could 
do some plain rhinestones. I could do some of the in color. And then the dots. I do have an idea for one more. Did anyone ever answer me at the debate? This is um, Whisper White. I see Paul is here, so the debate must not have started yet. <laughs> it starts at the top of the hour, right? Hello? I do have an idea for one more. Let's figure out which paper to use. triangles, which I really haven't used up till now. So I'm going to run this through a couple times. I'll be right back with you. Base, if I can find one. So the idea is going to be to do that. going to do it. This is cut down one layer size. So if you're in the U.S. that would be, you know, what am I saying? Uh, four by five and a quarter. And here with the A4s, whoops, let's do them right side up. It's um, 10 by 14.4. 
tripodum. That's how that's going to be. And then you could do happy birthday. Happy little bit late birthday. That'd be kind of fun. Or you could do it's your day. It's right. Let me do that one because I'm pretty good about catching everybody's birthday, but not always. I'm going to go ahead and do it in the Just J. Smudge. We're just going to ignore that. I hate when it catches the edge. That's my first time stamping with that one. So I need to remember that that wants to do that and be sure to clean it off before stamping. it on a white base. It's just a matter of which colored base do I want it on. Could go on any number of colors, couldn't it? kind of nice because it makes the colors all pop and that does too I think the blue is a no what do you think match the ink see you Jack what do you think on the magenta madness to pull in another color or on the green to let the flowers pop. I'm thinking on here. I'm gonna go with the magenta madness, I think. <laughs> Paper trimmer. Sorry if you heard that. That was Nicole calling for I don't know what reason. Oh, everybody said green. I can do that. I haven't heard anything. I can switch it up right now. Well, I hope that you guys are seeing everything just as well as you ever did, if not better. 
I'm really liking this setup because I'm in my, my regular stamping space, which makes it much easier to grab everything I need. I don't have to be moving stuff. Okay, so that's what y'all wanted, right? Here I am again with my y'all. You ever heard um, Will Smith on Inside the Actors Studio? Love that show. Uh oh, my video has gone out again. Um, I'm gonna presume you guys can still see me, or will find me. So in his, he grew up in Philadelphia, um, but unlike his character on The Fresh Prince, he uh, was not so ghetto, and he um, his, he lived with his grandmother perhaps three generations, I'm not sure. But um, he was heading out the door with friends one day and said, see y'all later. And his grandmother called him back and said, a y'all is a boat. So that's when I say y'all, I remember that and think, what am I saying? But that may just be me. more insights into the quirkiness of my mind. It's going to be tied to see if I can get everybody back. It looks like it's going. I think we're good. Okay, so even better would have been to cut this down so that it was actually this wide, but you know, we'll do that the next time. This isn't bad, I don't think. why the video went out twice, but I will be hoping to get that fixed. Now, do you think that needs something else? Do we need dots to cover up? But on this one, I think I would do rhinestones. Okay, so one on there. Okay, so there's two cards with, whoop, with that set.
cards with the goats. And that is what I have for you today. So it's fun to just grab new things and dive right into playing, isn't it? I hope you guys will come back and join me for uh, World Card Making Day on Saturday morning in Australia, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and um, Friday evening in the U.S., same time as you watch me on Facebook. Next week, um, next week in the U.S., the time will, ch well, our time is changing on Sunday. We're going into daylight savings time. So for those of you watching me in the U.S., the time is going to shift by an hour and I'll have a link up on my Facebook page and my blog and whatever um, to help you find which way it's moving because I can't keep track of it. But there are computer programs for that. So, um, yeah, I hope you find me again next week, uh, Tuesday evening in the U.S., Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time next week. And I will see you then. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.